Logan Murdoch suffered serious injuries in the crash and was not breathing when the Great North Air Ambulance team arrived. Haley Murdoch, 29, and Sheila Dixon, 71, both from Carlisle, died following the collision at Newby Cross in 2016. Dr. Laura Duffy called Logan, who made a full recovery, a ray of sunshine. Logan suffered an internal decapitation, which is a separation of the spinal column from the base of the skull, as well as brain injuries, a punctured lung and a broken collarbone. Dr. Duffy said with the injuries he sustained, he was unlikely to survive. The young boy was resuscitated at the roadside before being put into a medically induced coma at the scene. He was also given blood en route to hospital and went on to make a full recovery. John Murdoch, Logan's father, said, the doctor said that Logan was a very rare case. He said in all his 25 years as a neurosurgeon, only two other people had been brought to him alive after being internally decapitated. One of those died, and the other was severely paralyzed. He is a very lucky boy. Naz saved Logan's life. Logan, his father, and grandmother Karen Rooney visited the ambulance's airbase to meet Dr. Laura Duffy and paramedic Colin Clark who attended the crash.